Well, as more districts return to class, there will be more buses on the roads. That's something that drivers should pay attention to. So Bob Herzog is outside with the first student transportation, and he's got some important bus safety information. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Jen. Out here with my buddy Ken Jones from First Student once again to talk about buses, what you need to remember as a driver, and certainly what the kids need to remember as they get on the school bus as well. Ken, are you ready for another school year? We're ready for a uh, great school year this year. Always want to get things started on the right now, I know, with the kids, but it's also, I think, important for drivers, whether they have kids who are going to school this year or not, to remember, going to see a whole lot more of these out on the roads. What's the thing you want drivers to keep in mind? Well, certainly, um, this school bus is a distant memory for many people. Yeah. We want to um, make sure that every driver knows that getting on and off of the bus for students is the most dangerous time. Um, that 10 foot area around the school bus is very important. It's very hard to uh, see students and students are unpredictable. So what we want to do is to implore all of the community to stay at least 10 feet back, uh, never cross the um, or go around the bus when it stop and it's loading or unloading students. We just want everyone to be safe and we want to keep our uh, young people safe in the community. There really nothing is scarier than when you see video of a driver just zipping by a school bus when they're trying to stop because the, you know the drivers are trying to keep everybody safe and you need other drivers to want to do the same thing. That is right. When you see that stop sign out and those red flashing lights, it is, is illegal in all 50 states to uh, pass a school bus. Please don't do it. Certainly something to keep in mind. Now let's talk about keeping the kids safe. You mentioned the bar out front. What else on the outside of the bus is going to help kids to remember, hey, cross in front. Keep that keep that uh, line of vision as open as you can to the driver. Sure. The uh, iconic yellow of the school bus is eye-catching. There's a uh, cross arm in front of the school bus, and that will force students to walk in front 10 feet in front of the school bus as they cross the uh, street if they have to. Certainly something you want those kids to be doing. Now we're going to step inside the bus as well and as we do we're going to be doing something that all the students are going to be doing as well. That's right they're going to have to uh, have face coverings. Mm -hmm. All right let's step inside and talk about what's going on inside the bus. Lead the way. All right as uh, students come on and off the bus they should use three points of contact grab the handrail as we uh, this year, uh, as a part of social distancing, when a child enters the uh, bus, what they will do is the student that gets on first will go to the rear of the bus and sit. Okay. And then we will um, uh, sit and have assigned seats to move forward as kids come on. That way, there is no crossing of students on the bus. When we uh, depart and get to the school and uh, let the students off, the kids in front will get off the bus. Okay. That way no one in the back is walking by another student. So we're doing what we need to do and taking every precaution to keep both our students and our drivers safe on the bus. Now you, you mentioned your driver. Can we meet the driver up here real quick? You sure may. Okay. And hello there. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. Can you introduce yourself to me? I'm Lisa King. I'm the hiring and compliance manager for First Student. Lisa, it's great to see you. Are you ready for a new school year? I am excited. <laughs> I, get, I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> what are some of the extra challenges with everything that's going on right now with the kids? Um, probably the biggest challenge right now is to keep the mask on the students. Sure. Making sure that the students keeps the ma keep the mask on because we want to make sure that we keep everybody safe. How how difficult is it for you and for any driver? You want to meet all the kids. You probably want to establish that kind of relationship so that they know, hey, when I'm asking you to keep your mask on, it's to keep you safe. It's, it's all about building a rapport with your students when they first get on the bus. So they will respect you a whole lot better if you build that rapport and that first step with the children. Well, if they can pick up on any of the excitement coming for you, and I know some of the other drivers, I think that rapport is going to go just fine. Pleasure to meet you. Have a great school year. Thank you so much. And, and Ken, I'm going to come back to you very quickly because before we get out of here, if we're talking about first student and you're, you're serving CPS kids, there's no way I cannot ask you about what's going on with Metro. Are you guys involved with that at all? Does it affect what you do in any way, shape, or form? No, our contract with CPS is for elementary age students, and we've had no communications with CPS in that regard.
Got it. All right. Well, best of luck to you on a, on a great school year and keeping the kiddos safe and all that kind of great stuff. And remember, CPS, your day is coming. we got a whole lot of other kids that are back today. And for people who are heading out on the roads today, watch out for the school buses and make sure, give them the room they need and stop the car. You can't ever be in so big a hurry that you're going to zip past a school bus. And with that, I'm going to send it back into Jen. Good advice there, Bob. We want to keep everyone safe.